Hey guys, welcome to another video and this one is exciting because the star is back. So there is a quote that if you love something with a true heart, the whole universe makes sure that you get that. And that is what has happened with the Poco F1. One year the channel was down, the Poco was the star of the show. Then we started with the K20 Pro, the Poco is back and guess what? Official MIUI 12 for the Poco. The whole world has been waiting for it. And just when I decide that let's start making videos on this device, it comes out. Well, karma it is. So before we begin, if you have not already, Please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because you're going to see a lot of interesting content which you might not be able to see on other channels with a lot of fun. That is the K20 Pro, the OnePlus 7T and the Pocophone F1. Now without further ado, let's see how to install official MIUI 12 on the Pocophone F1 without losing any data and have a first impressions or first look at it. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's go MIUI 12. All right, so you know, this is not a review. In this video, we're just going to see how to install it because I saw this on Telegram. One of our lovely subscribers shared the OTA file and mentioned that can I install it? And I look at YouTube and bam videos all over the place but guess what if it's a miui update especially for the poco it has to be on smartphone tutorials so in the video description you will find two files let me show you those two files now before we get into all of that just a couple of things that you need to take care of you don't need twrp for this you don't need unlocked bootloader you can do this from stock just make sure you have more than 40 percent or 30 percent at the least 30 percent battery all right you will not lose any data at all this is an official update the links are there and if you are someone who has a slow internet connection or you know you have limited data and stuff like that then this is what will help you Let's have a look here. So if you are on the official latest MIUI update that is 11.0.9, then you can use the OTA file to upgrade, which is just 800 megabytes. But if you are on any older versions of MIUI and you are on a locked bootloader, then you're gonna have to download the full ROM zip, which is two gigabytes. I will show you the files, how they look. Give me a minute here. There you go. So the block OTA file you can see over here is 828 megabytes. So if you're on 11.0.9, you can actually go ahead and flash it and get to MIUI 12. But if you're on any older version, then you can flash this file that is 2.08 gigabytes. Now remember, if you're on a custom ROM, you can back up all your data and you can use TWRP to flash this very file. It will flash just fine and it will take you to the official MIUI 12. Now, you know, with all of that aside, and to be safe, I would suggest back up your data if you wish to, but you would not lose data because when you are on a locked bootloader, it will give you a warning that you'd be losing data. So here's the process. It's quite simple here. Let's you know actually go to gallery maybe. And as you can see over here, I have photos. So that's the proof that the phone won't be formatted at all. So let's go to settings and let's go to about phone and go to system update now over here if you don't get an update don't worry just keep tapping on this you will get a pop-up which will say additional update features enabled now when that happens if you click on this you will see something called as choose update package now, the moment you click on that it will take you to the file manager now if you copied this particular ROM or this file through a computer and then transferred it, then it would be in the main directory somewhere over here. But if you downloaded it directly from the phone's browser, just like me, then it would be in the download folder. Now, I will flash one of these two files, but let me show you that both of them are working fine. So the first one, the block OTA one, as I mentioned, because I'm on 11.0.9, I just need to select it and hit the tick mark over here. You need to be connected to the internet because it is going to connect with the Xiaomi servers and it is going to verify that it is a valid file. Now, if I click on reboot and update, see it says your device will reboot automatically to update to MIUI version 12. So we're gonna cancel that and I'll show you another scenario wherein you are on 11.0.6 or some other version. So you go here, you select choose update package and then you go to download or wherever the file is and select this two gigabyte file that is a full ROM file. 
it will still check with the Xiaomi servers and then it will give you the exact same message. There you go. So this time we will actually go ahead and reboot and update. Bye bye MIUI 11. I don't know how good 12 is going to be on the Poco F1 because on the K20 Pro it has been a bag of mixed features and issues and whatnot. So anyways, we are AOSP people. MIUI doesn't matter. It is just a firmware update for us. Just kidding there. So this process over here will take anywhere between three to five minutes. So please be very, very patient while that happens. All right, so we have booted up into MIUI 12. And as you can see over here, it sort of looks like a super wallpaper, but it is not. You have a small MIUI 12 introduction over here. It says yours alone, new features, which you've of course seen on this channel. It's loading, loading, loading. Of course, one to two year old device. What do you expect? Let's quickly get to the home screen and get a full feel of how this thing runs. What do we have here? Skip. We don't want that. Update now. Well, we are already updated. So, you know, first things first, uh, before we actually end this video, I would like to have a quick look. And let me tell you, you've successfully updated to MIUI. Let's go to wallpaper over here and let's go to my page, wallpapers. And as expected, you're not gonna get super wallpaper officially. So, and you should not as well. I mean, it's a good feature, but it drains a lot of your battery. So if you go to settings and you go to about phone, that you see this is MIUI Global Stable 12.0.2. Now, talking about the features, is it going to make it slow? How is go PUBG gonna play? How is Call of Duty gonna work on it? I will cover all of that. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna install both of my SIM cards on this particular phone running this very update without formatting it and I'll be using it for a day tomorrow. And once I'm back, day after tomorrow or so, you will have that video out. That is going to be the actual real raw review of what you should expect of MIUI 12 on the Poco Phone F1. For now, the link for these files are mentioned in the description and we will have two to three more videos coming up and we might or might not have a video on this guy as well, the OnePlus 7T. That's what I've been using all day. Anyways, a lot of fun in this video and I'm glad I was able to make this video for you guys. If you enjoy the content on our channel, subscribe, like and share. It really helps the channel a lot and it doesn't cost you anything. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.